Hey everyone, welcome to Oregon Haven, your Oregon Hotspot. Today we are going to be shooting these ketchup packets with my Umarex Gauntlet 25. We're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Oregon Haven, your Oregon Hotspot. My name is Aaron, and today we are going to be shooting these ketchup packets with my Umarex Gauntlet 25 caliber PCP air rifle. Now, it is a very nice day out here. You can see it's even t-shirt weather for me. It's very nice out, very warm actually. Um, very warm for February, that's for sure. As always, if you guys are new here, while you're here, please consider subscribing for more Airgun content. That's all I do. Um, a few things I do want to say before I get started here. I will be using these H&N Field Target Trophies, 20.06 grain. That's all I've been using in my gauntlet. Now, my gauntlet seems to love them. Um, this ketchup packet idea was an idea from someone on Facebook that is in one of my groups. And um, he did not want credited for this. He told me just to go ahead and do this video. But So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these ketchup packets. We are going to um, tape three to the logs down there at 15 yards. And then you can see we got this block here. This is a block of pine, chainsaw milled pine. And what we're going to do then is we're going to tape this ketchup packet to this. And the staple guns here, if the tape don't want to stick to the wood, we'll just staple it on there. And we're going to put this down at about 35 yards. So we're going to go ahead and get everything set up here and we're going to go ahead and have some fun. Stay tuned. All right, now we are on the 15 yard ketchup packets. We're going to go ahead and shoot them left to right. Let's go ahead and do this. There will be slow motion in here, by the way. Oh, let's go. There it goes. I punched a hole in it. All right, let's go over the one in the middle. <laughs> there we go. That one's, that one's a little better. All right, one on the right. <laughs> there it goes. I'm going to go for the one on the left again because I put eight shots in this magazine. There it goes. You can see the ketchup running out of it. One in the middle again, guys. Okay. Pretty nice. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move down to 35 yards. All right, now we are on 35 yards. My scope is dialed in the thick zoom. So let's go ahead and hit this thing. So I decided to bring it into around 22 to 23 yards because that's right around my gauntlet is zeroed into. Um, I couldn't hit, really hit it down there at 35 yards because my gun's not sighted in for that distance. So we're going to go ahead and bring it in here and we're going to go ahead and see if we can actually hit this thing now. Alright, let's hit it. There we go, we finally hit it. Probably should have just put it there in the beginning. But... There we go. There's a the ketchup packet. Um, I feel we're going to land a few more shots on that one. Um, to kind of make up for the sound. Too much up on that one. A little too much up on that one. And then, talk about it. We're going to move on that. And then, we got Let's just land one more shot on that one. And then, we'll go ahead and grab them. There we go. I think I hit that time too. We can't really tell. Hold up, guys. These really make a good challenge for you, I'll tell you that. More than just actually splattering them, they take a really good challenge. Oh, I actually disconnected it, so let's go grab all those packets and bring them back up here. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, so here was the results. I kept them in order this time, so I know what's in order. So right here was, this was the left one. You can see it made a hole in there and then it made a hole right there and then stopped in the log, which is to be expected. You can see this is the one in the center. Um, I shot it a couple times. There's a couple different holes in there. Um, that one kind of skirted out of the back, but that one had an actual exit hole. Um, and this is the one on the right. This is the one that really impressed me, um, how it just cut the whole paper open. Then put that one on the back. So 
That really impressed me. I'm not sure exactly how many times I shot that one. Um, this was our 35 yard one that ended up getting moved to 23 or 24 yard, 22 to 23 yards because I could not hit it at 35 yards because my gun is sighted in for 20 yards. So you can see right there is a hole right there. I think that's actually two pellets right there. So pretty neat. Um, very, very fun target to do, um, especially if you, somebody, you know, you go to drive through sometimes, you know, you grab a sandwich or something. If you go get a sandwich somewhere, it's something to eat, you know, ask them for these ketchup packets. They'll usually give them to you, and then you can tape them up on your range and shoot them. Then that's an easy way to know you're hitting targets. So kind of cool way to see if you're hitting targets. So really like the idea for planking and just kind of for fun, you know. Um, be very interesting to see, like, stuff like 30 calibers and slugs and stuff like that on these. That'd be pretty neat. So, um... We're going to go ahead and get this video wrapped up. We'll get back to the table. Stay tuned. As sad as it is to say, we're officially hitting the end of today's video. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like on it. And um, I really do want to thank my buddy here that on in my group that did give me this idea to do that. That was a very cool idea. I know you're watching. You didn't want credited. But thank you very much for the idea. Something I'll definitely maybe use again in the future. Um, maybe I'll use a 22 or something next time. Maybe even a brake barrel or something at 15 yards. That'd be pretty cool and open set of brake barrel you know, kind of a challenge. That'd be be pretty neat. Um, also, if you guys are new here, while you're here, please consider subscribing for more air gun content. Um, right about now or shortly after now, there should be some videos popping up on the screen. Also, if you guys do want to check out the Umarex Gauntlet 25 caliber, I really, really recommend this gun. And I've said this in every gauntlet video so far. This gun has been nothing but good to me. I've been using the H&N Field Target Trophies. Obviously, if you're trying to hit ketchup packets, it might not be the most accurate with the h and field trophies but with other pellets it's definitely going to be very accurate to do so but these pellets are just kind of to mess around knock some cans over really really enjoy shooting them so really check that check that gun out if you guys are interested in the optic that i have on here this is the vortex copperhead three through nine by 40 just a great scope to put on this gun so really really recommend it i'll hopefully be uploading here on tuesday march 8th 2023 so if I did get that date wrong, I'll correct it on the screen. I'm not sure off the top of my head what it exactly is. But stay safe, everyone, and bye for now. <laughs> there it goes.